Chaz Wins and the Chaz Wins on the line. Yes, yes, keep your head to the sky, keep your head to the sky, keep your head, what, what, what was y'all expecting going to happen, listen, I ain't touching that. I think all the jokes have been said and everything's been done, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I ain't going for the low hanging fruit. Not really, but uh, hey, everybody, welcome to another edition of Chaz Wins. I'm your host, Chaz Burke, and uh, welcome to Grind City TV Network Roku. That's right, we're back. We've been gone for a little while, but you know how it is. You know, I, I was afraid to come out and do anything because everybody getting in trouble for, for being a comic and doing comedy stuff, so I. I you know, I had to consult with my lawyers and get some security just in case, you know what I mean? I, what I ended up doing, I hired the angry weatherman, so y'all can come on up here if you want to, but psh, you, don't, you don't want none of that smoke from that, that weatherman, will not tell you. Yeah, yeah, but anyhow, um, in case you're new to the show, uh, I'm going to be introducing you to some of my old characters and hopefully be developing some new ones for you. Uh, so it's old school and new school, so that's what we got going on. That's going to be the theme this season. It's season three. Can you believe that? Season three, this is episode two. So um, sit right back and enjoy the show. Let me know what you think. Chazwins38 gmail.com. Oh, I know Lapita's right there. I know. I mean, we, we come on. That's, that's my play cousin. We we grew up in the same village. So, yeah. We was, uh yeah, yeah. That's, we go way back. So, yeah, we just chilling right now. So, yeah. But, all right. Check out the show. We're back in two and two. That's how we do it. Alexa, play. We were the man from Grand City TV Network Roku. Grand City TV weatherman, if you will. Hey, but my name is Rufus. Don't forget that. Everybody just call me an angry weatherman for a reason. That, and that's what makes me. That's what makes me mad because y'all be forgetting who I am. <clears throat> Make sure you say my name right. Rufus. All right, listen. Let's get back to just do what we do here. The weather. I'm, you know, I get off track already. It's Monday. I ain't had my car. Wait, no, it ain't Monday. It's Wednesday. That's how messed up I am. You know, I'm just, just, anyway, check it out. It's raining. It's just a whole bunch of rain, y'all. Some bullshit. It's April, and we got rain one minute, snow next minute, and you don't know what you're going to get. But uh, that's Pittsburgh weather here. But anyhow, yeah. So, would you check out the weather map behind me here? You know, if you look down here in Charleston, yeah, right there. You see the gray, that gray area right there around, yeah, right there. We got what's called low pressure. That low pressure is moving up. Coming down from Canada, we're going to have this uh, high pressure. We get high pressure and low pressure. You can only get one thing, and that's precipitation. That's right. It's going to precipitate, it's going to precipitate, and it's going to precipitate all over here, all over here. That's what it's going to be. It's just going to tell you that that's what's coming, all right? So watch out for that. If you go on, see you follow these clouds, these clouds right here, see this 
blue line of, of, of shit right here. I don't even know what that is. Just some something blue. Uh, watch out for that. Uh, okay. And if you look back to, back to the back further to the west over here, you see these these L's, these red L's right here. You know what that stands for? LL Cool J is coming to your city out here. You folks out here, okay? So be on the lookout for that and get your tickets. Uh, hey, <clears throat> I know that my shirt is wrinkled, all right? Okay, check it out. I ain't got an iron no more because uh, I went to the child support court and the baby's mama took everything. So I got to, you know, wear the same shirt. Uh, I got the wrinkles. I can't, you know, I can't even afford a, a dryer. I just wash my clothes in the bathtub and put them in the sink. I don't even got uh, soap powder. I just use dish liquid, you know, Dawn. Regular, wash it out, and I just hang them up, hang them up on the clothesline. So, she'll probably take that next week. But that's how it is, you know. And that's the real reason why I'd be angry, you know. I'm just saying, I like to do the weather, but you know, I can't be precipitating and get the precipitation on me. I ain't even got an umbrella no more. That's gone too. So, um, you know, that's why I be telling y'all, I gotta get a desk inside out of the, you know, what I mean, out of these elements to keep me, keep me dry, so I can afford, you know, get that raise and uh, give me a new shirt. So that's all it takes, y'all. Just a little bit, just a little bit of little things that make the most, that mean the most to the people when you need them the most. Does that make sense? All right. All right, well, listen. Watch out for that low pressure and that blue shit over there, all right? Just grind your teeth, weather, man. I, I, I'll talk to y'all later. Take it all back. So I, I tried to tell y'all, the weatherman got, he got issues. I don't even know how he holds a job down, to be honest with you. He just, he be talking about making stuff up on the map, and I, I, I just, I don't, I don't understand. He must know somebody, must be the owner's nephew or something, I don't know. But anyway, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. You just, you just don't know what you're going to get. But, uh, I don't know one thing, um, the holiday is coming up here, it's April. Uh, it is raining a lot, though. He, he was right about that. It's just raining. Matter of fact, I ain't seen the sun until last June. But Easter's coming up, y'all. You know what I mean? Easter. And Easter's not like it used to be, right? Remember being a kid? You know, I grew up during the time when you used to, as a kid, you know, Easter was a big deal. You seen all your cousins you ain't seen in a long time, and you go to go to church all damn day long, and you just wanted to get up, go home, eat your candy, and you know, those little marshmallow peeps. People be fronting on them peeps, acting like they don't like them. But when you're a kid, the marshmallow peeps are the best thing ever invented. They were, just saying. I still like them. I can't eat them now though, because I got the sugar. Uh, I ate one peep, but I'm like, I almost go in a diabetic shop. <clears throat> so I gotta cut the head, cut the head off. I can eat that, and then the rest of it I eat the rest of the week. But I like them. Shoot, put them in the microwave, they swell up. Anyway, yeah, I do. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. That's all I'm gonna do. Give it to you 100%. <laughs> Don't, now, now all the stuff that we used to like and do, nobody likes it today. They don't. I don't eat that. I don't like that. I don't eat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat. Sugar, I don't eat nothing. <laughs> I don't know how people, that's what's wrong with people. You know, people's diet. We get back to old school dinner at grandma's house on Sunday. Of course, now grandma's be like 35 years old. <laughs> they got grandma's out here on, on the gram. Uh, that's the problem with the world. That is what's going on, you know. The COVID, I think, you know, grandma didn't play that. My grandma used to fix everything. And, uh, I mean, she didn't even use Robitussin. She's some old down south recipes and stuff, you know, old, put some Vicks Vapor Rub, mix a little onion in there, uh, put some salt and pepper and some chicken broth, and you would drink it, and that would just cure everything. You fall, break your leg, boom, drink that, you're straight. You know, Grandma had some stuff, man, she did. But yeah, Easter is coming up, so that means you're going to see a lot of, you know what's coming, them Easter pimpalicious suits. It's actually one of my favorite times of the year, because... Uh, you know, I can put on my my flies. Matter of fact, I gotta get a new Easter suit, y'all. So I'm going out there to um, the only place to shop for pimpalicious gear. Yeah, out of Remos in the mall, Rovo. Shout out to Remos for holding it down and keeping everybody looking like Silky Slim. Yeah. All right, y'all. We'll be right back with some more of what you came here for. Mm.
Alfred, you got you got to let me know. You can't just be going live without me knowing it, Alfred. I wasn't ready. People, you know, won't understand it. Think I'm out here doing something illegal. I just want to say that wasn't marijuana. It was not the sticky of the icky. It was not okay. That was just uh, for my. I got these eye problems. The doctor prescribed uh, cannabis for my. I got glaucoma, and uh, I've also got batarax. But anyway, yeah. It's been rough out here in the streets. Uh, it's Batman. I've been kind of under the weather. You know, COVID got me too. Or might have been something messing around with Catwoman. I don't know. But anyhow, I digress. Uh, yeah, it's just rough. You know, gas prices are super high right now. And I'm just, I told the commissioner, I said, listen, commissioner, <clears throat> gas prices are too high right now. And I'm going to keep my crime fighting to a two block radius. So, uh, that, until these prices come back down, I don't have enough per perks at, my, at the fuel pump. So, uh, yeah, you know, a Batmobile doesn't run on water, you know, not not yet anyway. But speaking of a uh, gas station, I was in the gas station today and this lady was in there with two little brats. I mean, two little kids. And, you know, they were screaming and crying and hollering and kicking on the floor. And, you know, they wanted all of this. They wanted some candy and popcorn and potato chips and shit. I'm just like, lady. Man, get a hold of your kids. So, you know what happened? They kept crying so much, the lady just gave in. She bought them pop, you know, not a little pop, not the little juice hugs we used to drink, where, I mean, you used to drink when you were a kid. <clears throat> but no, she gets them a big bucket of pop, like a 42 ounce or a <clears throat> whole bag of like the snack fun size shareable. And there's two kids, and you know they're not sharing shit, you know, so they're all full of sugar and going out. And that's the problem with you millennials today, you millennial parents, you know, you just know. You, you don't have any, uh, you know, like we used to call it, just some old school, wet it. Yeah, that's it. Just give the kid, give in to the kid. You're scared of them. They think they're going to call CYS on you. Listen, if your kids ever call CYS and you're giving them a ass whooping because they did something to deserve it, Batman is not going to judge you, okay? Make it so bad the lady was standing in line. She was standing in front of the condom aisle. I'm like, say, hey, ma'am, excuse me. I don't mean to be in your business, but next time you, you might want to use one of those, okay? I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah, fuck them kids. Uh, that's right. Uh, they're a bad investment. Do you get bad returns on them? I mean, you know, well, you get good returns when, you, when, you're, when you're little under 18. You can claim them on your taxes and stuff. You know, you get that earned income credit and everything. That's why he's not a stupid Robin. Uh, but now he's growing and out of the house, and yeah, well, he's doing his own thing there. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. Times is rough. Uh, I went into McDonald's because they've got that uh, value dollar menu and those, everything. I don't know how you need a hamburger for a dollar. I mean, what kind of hamburger meat is it anyway? I don't know, but it's cheap, so I go in there and buy So I go in the other day, and I, you know, I just get a hamburger and, you know, maybe one of those pies. And it's funny because the girl asked me, oh, what flavor pie do you want? I said, well, wait, 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 wait hold on a minute. What do you mean, what kind of flavor pie do I want? McDonald's only has one kind of pie, and that's an apple pie. No, 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 no. They got all kind of pies now. They're, they're fruit filled. They've got strawberry cream, banana, blueberry. They even got a pumpkin pie at McDonald's now, which I don't understand what that's all about. But uh, I said, hold on, sister. Hold on. You're doing too much because pies from McDonald's, they only come in one flavor, and that's apple. Yes, that's strong. I mean, you might get a cherry apple pie. I mean, not a cherry apple pie. That'd be something different. That'd be like a combination. But we're not, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying the old school fried apple pie. None of this baked shit now. These pies aren't even fried. Can you imagine that? You people don't understand, you young people. You used to go to McDonald's and you ordered a hot fried apple pie. And let me tell you something. It would burn the shit out of your roof of your mouth. It was so hot, it would stick to your mouth. But it was so good. It was so tender. So flaky, the crust just flaked apart in your mouth. Or that might have been the roof of your mouth burning up because it was so hot. I don't know. But either way, they were good. That's all I'm saying. They were good. And everything new ain't necessarily better. So bring back them hot-ass apple pies. If I want to burn my mouth, it's my business. All right, guys. I'm out. That's right, it's Sister Gladys. Now, y'all didn't think that she was going to do a show, and I wasn't going to shut this mother down. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> excuse my French. Um, 
I know it's about to be Easter and everything, so I need to get my mind right and watch watch what the you know I see the devil be working on me all the time. Shabba da 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 da. He just be getting me all the time. Mm. So we gonna get behind me, Satan. Anyway, hi, it's Sister Gladys again, and I'm just so happy to be here. It's been a long time, and I, I I'm I'm back. Um, you know, I put on a little winter weight, uh, but I've been going to the gym and trying to work it off. But I uh, I went to that one gym and they club fitness. They, they kicked me out. They said something about I was showing off or something because Sister Gladys spends 350 pounds. I mean, I don't... I don't know. It is what it is, you know. But anyhow, I'm trying to say I'm, I might be a man identifying as a woman, a woman that didn't... Listen, <clears throat> I'm Sister Gladys. That's all you need to know. Sister Gladys don't play. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, I decided to change church. Easter Sunday's coming up. And I need to get me a new Easter dress. I don't know where I'm going to go. Probably Macy's or Nordstrom's. I don't know. But, you know, such a class old. They're at first class taste. So, you know, I just can't put on any old thing. Shoot, this dress right here, this whole thing. You know, that, I got this from uh, Kaufman's. And they don't even make these anymore. <clears throat> but I will say this. I'm going to find me a new church. That's right. Such a class ain't comfortable. Uh, my old church I've been going to, the 57th, 57th Baptist Church over there on 53rd Street. And, um... You know, things just kind of kind of went downhill a little bit. You know, that Reverend Johnson, he he uh, he's slipping. I don't know if he's getting old. And he be making up Bible verses they ain't never heard of. He be like Deuteronomy and and Star Wars and and eat the uh, you know. I just he's slipping. Somebody need to talk. You know, maybe he's having I don't know. Maybe the life prices, whatever. I don't know. But, but Reverend Johnson, he uh, y'all just pray for him. Just put just put by your head, close your eyes, and let's just have a moment of silence for Bro Reverend Johnson. Reverend Johnson. Mm hmm Lord well, bless that Brother Johnson, cause he, you know, he's still fine. He can still get it. I mean, I'm sorry. Just keep him and his family in good blessings, Lord. Thank you so much. Uh huh. But I tell you what, I think I'm gonna go on down to that uh that new church coming. You know, they built the new church down there on First Avenue. Uh, I think it's called. Uh, the denominal, the nominal, first denomination, the nominal church, something like that. I don't know, but I heard the pastor is dynamite. Mm -hmm. Like JJ from Good Times, baby. Dynamite. His name is, uh, what is that? Reverend, Reverend, Reverend Penny Dollar. That's it. <laughs> uh, I, so I'm going to go down there and see what he's like, see how he preaches, you know what I mean? See what kind of service it is. Is it a dead service? Is it live? You know, Pentecostal? Or is it, is he one of the Protestants? You know, Cancer, Capricorn, whatever. It don't matter. I don't know. But I'm going to go check him out and see what he has to say. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes. You know, with Easter coming up, I don't need no Easter bonnet because, you know, Sister Gladys always got the front, the lace front right there, always looking good. And, <clears throat> you know, I heard this story about that girl. What's her name? Played in that movie, um, you know, the bald-headed girl, uh, Morphe, uh, uh, Trinity. No, no, what's her name? I don't know. But Jada, Jada, that's it. Jada Smith. That's right. Mm -hmm. Listen, honey. <clears throat> Let me say this. Sister Gladys says, honey, don't worry about how you look. Just go on there and do your thing. Don't worry about nobody else, what anybody's tell you. Just do you. And if you're bald-headed, that's okay, too. Ain't nothing wrong being a bald-headed skittle-diddle. It's all right. Because under this right here, Sister Gladys say, you know, I didn't give up all that vanity. I just keep my lace front on because it was done by Drifusix down here in East Liberty. And uh, I've been holding on to it. I think that's such a marvelous job. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you something. Don't be worried about nobody else, what they say. And when you're on that TV show with all talking about all the menses and all that, don't, don't, don't keep, 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 keep your husband's name out your mouth. Don't, don't do that, baby. Don't, don't, don't throw the man under the bus. He out here working hard, making movies, and he, he's saving the universe and saving the country one time from the aliens. And, you know, he was on, got thrown out of Uncle Phil's house. And, you know, you just, times is hard, baby. So just be nice to that boy because he don't deserve that. Mm-mm. All right. Okay? So, you know, keep that on the, on the DL. Don't put all your business out in them streets. Don't everybody need to know that. That's right. So, bye, everybody. That's about all I got for this class. I'm going to let y'all know about that church when I go on down there to the First Denomination Church, and uh, I'll let you know how that goes, okay? All right, I just heard they had a metal detector in front of the church. Uh, uh, no, not for safety. Uh -oh. They don't want no change coming in there. <laughs> all right, y'all. Stay good. Bye-bye. That's right. It is once again time for Lessons by Kung Fu Mike.
deadliest fists in the East, the West, South, and the North. I don't know why I sound like Batman. But anyhow, I just wanted to come on with some safety tips on how to defend yourself because there's a lot of stuff going on out here in these streets. People are getting slapped and uh, Kung Fu Mike wants you to learn how to protect yourself. So if you don't have hands like I do, I learned from Master Junebug Sanders of the Sanders tribe, brother to the late, great Colonel Sanders. That's right. Eleven herbs and spices and Master Junebug Sanders had 11 deadly fighting skills. One of them I'm going to demonstrate. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not the COVID. It might be yellow fever. I'm going to teach you how to use the nunchucks. And if you use them correctly, you will numb your opponent and knock them in the head. That's why we call them nunchucks. Now watch as I demonstrate. I'm going to have to show you this slowly because I move at lightning fast speeds. <coughs> But anyway, sometimes the nunchucks can get out of hand. That's why you have to be a trained professional. And like I said, I'm Kung Fu Mike. I have been learning from Master Junebug Sanders from the Famosa tribe deep in the mountains of Homewood. And if that doesn't work, okay, if that doesn't work and you find yourself out here, <laughs> I keep sounding like Batman. <laughs> if you find yourself out here in these streets and you don't have the nunchucks, and you don't have lightning kung fu grip capability with your hands because I got hands <coughs> Excuse me. There's another ancient remedy a fighting technique and it's only be used for self-defense Okay, because it is very deadly It's called the Busta cap That's right. Did you hear me? Busta cap if everything else fails and you gotta you gotta you know if you're stuck and you gotta throw hands and you're surrounded by six or 18 guys and you just, just bust a cap. All right. This has been another moment with Kung Fu Mike and uh, stay well, stay blessed. Uh. Well, like I said today, uh, I just wanted to uh, reintroduce a few characters and some of the things we do here on Chaz Wins on Grind City TV Network, Roku. Uh, make sure you come back because we're going to be featuring some uh, some new characters, some new cast members, and we're going to expand and see if we can't push that envelope just a little bit, all right? So it, I truly do appreciate you guys being patient with me and coming back and checking out the show. Uh, you, you know where to find us at. You can always find us right here on Grind City TV Network, Roku. That's Wednesdays at 10 p.m., the primetime spot. There's a great comedian on prior to me. His name is Stefan Braxton. And it's Comics on Life, Naughty, uh, Emmy, Emmy Award winner, dope gentleman. We just had a couple of cups of coffee the other day. And by coffee, I mean Apple Crown. <laughs> uh, he's working really hard, just like the other independent artists on this network. And please support us. Download this app. Download the, to your Roku device. Subscribe. Grind City TV Network. Roku needs you to stay relevant, and I appreciate you for following me. I really do. So, like I said, this is a labor of love. It's a journey. Uh, we're working hard. Everyone is doing their best they can, doing what they love to do. I know for me, for one, I, um, you know, I love this. Uh, being able to come to you in your living room, TV, whatever, workspace, at work. Because let's face it, y'all know y'all be at work. <laughs> doing everything but work. <laughs> I know you do. Keep it real. Let's keep it real. Um, so I know how it is. You know, time is the new currency. Or it might be the old currency. I don't know. But time is valuable. Your time is valuable. So when you do anything with Chaz Wins, uh, I'm super, super grateful. Very appreciative of anything that you, you know, do to sponsor. Whether it be dropping a brother a cash app blessing. Dollar sign Chaz Wins. C-H-A-Z-Z-W-I-N-S. <laughs> Whether you email me at chazwins38 at gmail.com, whether you check out all my other social medias, just look for Chaz Wins, you'll find it. And of course, right here on our parent station right here, because uh, Grind City is just, 
it's so amazing, and I'm so inspired by all the other artists. Uh, the CEO, uh, Mrs. One and Only K Bay, the button pusher, <clears throat> always checks on me and makes sure I'm doing well. So I thank her for that. I thank her for that um, encouragement and just genuine care. And that's what we like to do at the station. Other artists around the country, check us out. Um, Texas, yeah, New York, you know, shout out to all you guys out there who are doing it big and holding us down here just like us here in Pittsburgh. Uh, happy 412 day today in Pittsburgh because our area code is 412 and today is April the 12th. So there's that little nugget for you. Don't don't say you just can't come here and get some, you know, I got education stuff for you too. I'll enlighten your mind. Probably wasting some brain cells. <laughs> it's more like it. But, hey, you know what? I just try to make life a little bit more palatable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just want to make it a little bit easier because it's the stress, the struggle, the trials and tribulations of everyday life. Every now and then you need a break. So I realize that people look forward to that. So I hope that I provide that comic relief to you and for you. I do. Uh, I'm working hard so I can get better at it. And... That only happens when you reach out and let me know. So please email me, leave a comment here, wherever you're watching this at. chazwins 3 at gmail.com is my email address, and that's the best way to get in touch with me, to let me know your thoughts, your feelings. You might want to vent. You might have something to say. You might want to tell me off. And then, you know what? That's okay. Because I'll be your sounding board. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I got broad shoulders, you know. Sister Gladys, I've been 350 pounds. <laughs> I can take it. Uh, but I just want to be that platform for you. And, and, of course, if anybody wants to come on the show, because we have guests, too. We have guests. We have artists, entertainers, entrepreneurs. We have all those, and we're going to get back to that because this is a variety show. So we hope to have um, more interesting people, some some uh, old friends and favorites of yours. And I say old, not age-wise, but you know they've been around. So, yeah, we, we, we got a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. So you can catch them all right here where I see your TV, Network Roku. Um, <clears throat> so before I go... Um, I got to send a shout out to my peeps, my peeps that have been holding me down. Uh, of course, my family and my, and my wonderful fiance, Monica Hughes, a.k.a. Mo, Money, the, the, <laughs> a.k.a. Money Mo, Money Mon, Money Mo, oh, I don't know. She, she, it's all about the money. You get the picture. <laughs> shout out to the East Coast heavy hitters. That's not right. <laughs> that is not right. That's going to get edited right there. Mm. So yeah, that's where we're at, man. Shout out to all of you who have supported and showed me your love and, and your time and your energy for so long. I appreciate you. I, I truly do. You know, shout out to my family, my, my sons and daughters and my fiance, Monica Hughes. Thank you for everything you do for keeping us on target. And, and thank you to uh, all of our other sponsors, network providers, our people that we work with hand in hand. Um, shout out to my man CJ Earl out there in Monroeville at uh, Bowser Chevrolet. Go out and check him out, man, the Power Bowser. That's my man, CJ Earl. Just ask for him. Buy from the little guy. He'll hook you up, and I mean that sincerely. <clears throat> shout out to Pandemic Press for just always providing such great information and entertainment. The Coverage family, love you guys out there. You know, shout out to Neela Adams. And in my own element, who has a dope show on um, YouTube about everything, about life, you know. And of, of course, shout out to Jazz Bean. Jazz Bean Entertainment Events and the Jazz Bean All-Stars, my fellow Fedsbeans. Um, we are out here trying to make a difference. We're growing and we appreciate your time and energy. And I appreciate all of your support. And I have to always, always, always give shout and give thanks to um, my network right here, Grind City TV Network Roku, thank you, K-Bay, for this great opportunity and for always keeping everybody together. And uh, I see you. We're going places. I can feel it. This is the year, 2022, man. We Let's just speak that into the existence, all right? Excelsior. That's right. You know niggas get fancy when they start using fancy words, get a little money. I got $8. But that just means upward and onward. <laughs> so... Peace and blessings and enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Deuces. Mm. Hey, Alfred, <clears throat> check this out.